Hey everyone, welcome back to Health Science One. Today we're gonna to do a quick review of what we learned yesterday, which was the different tissue types. Um, we're not gonna talk about organ systems in this review because you are working on a project where you will get plenty of practice on organ systems. Um, so we're just gonna talk about tissue types and then I have a quick game for us to play together. So real quickly, let's look back over the four different types of tissue. Let's start with epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is also known as your skin. Remember that it covers the outside of your body and also lines the inside of your body. People tend to forget about that. And it's three main things that it does is provide protection, secretion, like secreting oils and sweat from your skin, and absorption, because we absorb nutrients through our skin as well. Think about like a nicotine patch or a medication patch or lotions and things like that, how our skin absorbs that. Next, we have connective tissue. Connective tissue is very dense. So remember on our model from yesterday, epithelial tissue is that thin line at the top, and then your connective tissue makes up the big, dense piece of skin. Um, hold on, and I'll get my model for you. Here you go. So remember up here, this thin piece is the epithelial tissue and then your connective tissue makes up the bulk of the skin. And then down here we have adipose and fat. Okay. So there are your two different things, epithelial and connective. Um, remember that connective tissue, because it's so dense and thick, it is responsible for protecting your organs and connecting other tissues together. We also have within our connective tissue, you have tendons and ligaments. So remember that tendons connect bone to muscle while ligaments connect bone to bone. And then your adipose again is that fat. It is this like yellow, bumpy, bubbly looking part at the bottom of your skin. Okay. And then when we're talking about muscle tissue, we have three different types of muscle tissue. I'm gonna move my camera over to this side so you can see the image here. With your muscle tissue, it is responsible for protective, I'm sorry, that's supposed to say protection, <laughs> protection, movement, and then heat production. Your three different kinds are cardiac, skeletal, and smooth muscle tissue. Remember that cardiac is striated, meaning it has the stripy look, as you can see in the um, photo right there. And it's involuntary. Remember that that means that your heart will pump without being told to do so. It does it on its own. And so your cardiac muscles, everything that surrounds the heart and helps the heart to contract. Then you have your skeletal muscle. Your skeletal muscle is also striated, meaning it has that stripy interlocking appearance. But skeletal muscle is voluntary, meaning that you actually have to think about it in order for your muscles to start moving. You have to say, I am going to stand up in order for your muscles to work together to stand up. And your skeletal muscle is, of course, attached to your skeleton and attached to your bones. Then you have smooth muscle tissue and smooth muscle, because it is smooth, is not striated. It is the one of the three that is not striated. Hopefully you can just remember smooth means it has no stripes. It is also involuntary as it surrounds all of the different organs inside your body and helps with things like digestion and urinary retention. So it surrounds the organs and it's involuntary. And then the last one, if my screen will change, <laughs> there we go. And the next one or the last one that we're gonna talk about is your nervous tissue. And your nervous tissue is responsible for reacting to stimulations from inside the body and within our environment around us and cause your other organs to do things by conducting and transmitting impulses. So all of these have to work together in order for something to happen, right? Because say I touch something hot. When I touch something hot, the nerve impulses or the nerve receptors in my fingers feel that it's hot, sends a transmission up to my brain, which then tells my muscle, um, my skeletal muscle receptors to pull away so that I don't burn myself. And then, of course, my epithelial tissue is where all those nerve receptors are housed in my skin. So think about it in the way that all of these have to kind of work together. So that is the quick and brief review, but now we're gonna play a game together. So the way this is going to work is I am going to put either an image or text in that white box that is going to relate to one of the four types of tissue. 
and you're just gonna hover your mouse or you can just use your brain or you can point to the screen or however you wanna do it, what you think the answer is. And then we'll go on to the answer after that. So we have 15 questions we're gonna get through real quick. So the very first one is just this image. What kind of tissue is this? Okay, so notice what it looks like. Are there any defining features that you notice that make you realize what kind of tissue it is? So go ahead and either hover your mouse or hover your finger over the answer that you think it is. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. The answer is nervous tissue. Okay, so now that we've done one question, hopefully you see how this is gonna go. We're gonna speed through these a little faster. If you ever need to pause to think about it, you can do that on your computer. Question number two, what kind of tissue is this? Again, just hover your mouse or hover your finger over the answer. The answer is muscle tissue, okay? Try to keep track of how many of these 15 you get right, okay? Write them down somewhere. Question number three, maybe if my mouse, <laughs> there we go. Question number three, which of these types of tissues is responsible for protecting our vital organs? Responsible for protecting vital organs. Five, four, three, two, one. Connective tissue. Question number four. Which of these types of muscle well, which of these types of tissues has three different types? I almost just gave it away. Hopefully you get it right. The answer is muscle tissue. Sorry about that one. I think you probably all got that one anyway. Question number five, what type of tissue is this? Again, look for defining features to let you know what type of tissue it is. Think back to your notes. There were images on all of those slides. Five, four, three, two, one. Epithelial tissue. Notice how it has all the little singular cells with their own nucleuses inside of them. That's a defining feature of epithelial tissue. Question six, which of these tissues conducts and transmits impulses? Which one conducts and transmits impulses? Nervous tissue, good job. Question seven, what type of tissue is this? This one can be kind of tricky, so you gotta pay attention. Okay, if you're ready. This one is connective tissue. Okay, so anything that is, it looks very dense and compact, right? You can't see individual cells or nucleuses or anything like that. It's very dense. That's connective tissue. Question number eight, which one of these is responsible for heat production and movement? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Muscle tissue, good job. Question number nine, which one of these is composed of a thin protective membrane layer? Which of these tissue types is composed of a thin protective membrane layer? Everybody got it? Epithelial. I wonder how many of you got that. It was on the very first slide from our notes from yesterday. Question number 10, we only have five more to go. Which type of tissue is this? Okay, everybody have an answer. Epithelial, epithelial. Question 11, what type of tissue is this? Okay, again, look for defining features, things that stand out to you. Notice kind of what it looks like and what it doesn't look like and just narrow it down. Okay, have your finger or your mouse hovering over the answer. Three, two, one. It's muscle tissue, okay? Remember, there are three different types of muscle tissue and they all look slightly different. So I could have put a picture of any of those, but it still would have been muscle tissue. I believe this one is 
um, image of, I want to, I think this one is the image of skeletal tissue, but I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay. Smooth is a type of what tissue? Muscle tissue. Okay. We just talked about how there are three different types of muscle tissue. Smooth is one of them. Question 13, tendons and ligaments are what type of tissue? Tendons and ligaments are considered what type of tissue? I feel like I should hum the Jeopardy song. Do, 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 do. Everybody got it? It is connective tissue, okay? Remember, tendons connect bone to muscle. Ligaments are bone to bone, but they are both types of connective tissue because they are connecting things to each other. Number 14, our skin is made of what type of tissue? Our skin is made of what type of tissue? Okay, our skin is made up of that top layer of tissue epithelial cells. And last question, number 15, what type of tissue is this? Hopefully you're keeping track of how many points you have. Okay, everybody got it. Here is your answer. Nervous tissue. Okay, so that is our review game for the day. Go ahead and start working on your organ systems research flyer. That is your assignment for today. You also have a journal entry and a daily five quiz for attendance purposes and for just practice. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, text me. As always, I am here for you guys. And yeah, have a good week.